Hey everyone, today we have another video update from Dane uh, and his 400 gallon aquarium. Dane, how are you? Great, I'm here to show you the new stuff that I've done with the tank. So very excited about it, there's lots of new changes, so we're going to follow up on the state of the Radeon upgrade as well as uh, go and talk about some new additions. It's not every day that you add 17 large colonies to the aquarium. So let's get going. Uh, Dane, what are the big changes that you've introduced to the tank? Well, the main thing is that I've removed a lot of the big colonies. There's five really large colonies that were removed because they were consuming way too much calcium and alkalinity. Even with my calcium reactor running, I was daily dosing between 250 and 300 mils per day of calcium and alkalinity and, and removing that and putting in new smaller heads and more variety I am able to run everything just on the calcium reactor right now. Wow that's uh, nice and uh, so you've added how many colonies? Uh, about 17 different ones that are in there right now. And you all added it all at once right? Yeah because I took out much bigger when you consider the weight that was taken out and the, the size of the corals, uh, it took out much more than what I actually put in. So uh, how long did it take you, the whole process? Uh, about three days in total to remove everything and prepare to put the new stuff in. All right, so let's uh, split it up into chunks of um, sections of corals. So first let's start with um, the 17 colonies that you got from whom? Uh, we got them from uh, Reef to, no, sorry, Reef to Oceans, Ryan at R2O. Yeah, Ryan is a great guy, so a big shout out to him, and uh, he's, he has an amazing store with really good prices. So if you're in Toronto, you got to check him out. So, uh, Dane, uh, show us which ones are we talking about here. Maybe let's start from this side here, which I see has gone through quite a modification. Yes, well, we removed... Uh large Confusa uh, Montepra, mm -hmm. uh, heads of SPS also and we put a couple new rocks in. The rocks I got from uh, March at Frogback Box Yep. and uh, you know you can see the newer colonies that are in there. Some of them are older colonies that I had before that I made smaller. For instance this one was a big huge colony that was up in here. Yeah. Cut it down, put a smaller frag or a colony in. <laughs> and what is it? Is it a millie? It's a millie. It's a nice. red tabling millie. You don't see millies as often now as uh, used maybe five or six years ago in Toronto. No, but I love them because yeah. of the polyp extension. Yes. Right, so for instance some of the new heads that were put in, uh, most of these ones in here across wow. the, going across the top. Uh, there's a couple smaller ones that were there from before, uh, but it's mostly these ones here. And uh, you th do you know what is it Bali like Indo, Indo. shipment Indo? This was all Indo. Very nice. I also added some two pieces of LPS which I got from Aquatic Kingdom. Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. I got a couple of torches over there. Oh, I'd love to see those. Yes, so they're, let's, they're gorgeous. Let's take a look. So the two smaller heads there. That Once one Once this there. fat uh, blonde Nasso gets uh, out of the way. Wow. Yes, so this is uh, Dragon Souls or one of that's, those fancy ones? That's what I believe it is. Wow, that's nice. And then uh, you got... The smaller one behind the, the big Australian one. Very nice. What about um, uh, the rock? Just uh, tell me a couple of things about this uh, custom rock that, uh, that you have. Uh, you got it from Fragbox, right? So yes, the, the custom rock. The, these purple pieces I got from Fragbox, mm -hmm. uh, they're Aquaforce, I believe. Mm -hmm. I also got uh, a couple pieces from Candy Coral recently, which are the, the branching ones. Oh, nice. Which are right here. What is it, like a Pukani rock? or? No, it's, it's, uh, it's concrete. It's just really? a man-made rock. Wow. Uh, there's another one over in the back there also. Gotcha. I, I like to, to drill holes in them and peg the corals, and it spaces things out a little bit and opens it up. So let's take a look at the pegging aspect of it. So we can see that all the corals can be moved around. So if you want a different color pattern or if something starts to touch the other coral, you can just move them or trim them and also makes it really easy to frag it, eh? Yes, absolutely. You can just remove them very quickly. 
and uh, the rocks are all drilled all over with quarter inch holes and then I use quarter inch uh, acrylic dowels yep. which are glued into the base of the, the corals. I drill small holes into that and with super glue from Ecotech, yep. uh, I glue it in and then I can just place them in the holes and move them around. Wow. That's uh, that's very neat. Uh, so the next video we're gonna do with you is gonna be talking about your frag uh, system and also show uh, some of your fragging skills. So really excited about this one. Now uh, let's take a look on the other side of the tank just to see uh, what what's going on here. Uh, but before we do that, can you tell us a little bit about that uh, section uh, of zoanthids? I take it and. Uh, what was your reasoning for uh, having this open space uh, in the front? Well, the open space was always to put stuff on the sand bed when I had sand. When I, I've now removed most of it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the glass is now being covered in with the coralline algae, so it's looking a little bit better than it did before. Yes. But by doing so, I was able to get my phosphates down to a much more manageable level. And it seems to be working out quite well. I have some sand left in the middle of the tank because I have wrasses that like to bury themselves at night. That's where they sleep. So I will be leaving that mm -hmm. just the way it is for now. Uh, it seems to be working good. My phosphates are manageable. They're running. The last time I tested was a 0 0.06. Wow, right? that's and perfect. That's a sweet spot, right? That's a sweet spot. And I'm actually dosing some nitrates in order to get the nitrates up a little bit. I think it's at about 2.5 right now. Oh, really? Uh, and is it potassium nitrate? Yes, from nice. ESV. Oh, gotcha. Wow, right. that's, that's yeah. very neat. So what's going on with this side of the tank? Well, as you can see, the, the branching rock that I put in, there's uh, the branching rock, which then has frags on top of them, <laughs> right, with the holes. Yeah. So if I'm putting my fingers in front of the camera. No, oh, no, uh, we're doing a one take, uh, one hot take here, so. Right. So I, I'm, I have corals from everywhere, basically. Uh, like I said, uh, Ryan from R2O, uh, uh, I have from Reef Wholesale, which my, my Patrick. buddy Patrick. Yeah. Uh, they're wholesale only and uh, Daniel from Aquatic Kingdom, a friend of mine that we go way back. Uh, the rock, some of the branching rock I got from Candy Coral, some, some, a few of the corals came from him also, wow. Afnan. That's, right. uh, that's you know, amazing. Very high-end corals. <laughs> now uh, this particular colony, I think that's a Valida, right? Yes. Uh, just for reference. Is it me or uh, this whole thing is just pegged on one little tiny... It's, it <laughs> is definitely pegged on one tiny little... As you see all the other corals in there. That grew from one small frag. So, and for reference, I think this is easily 14 inches uh, in diameter. I'd say about 12. All right, you always uh, bring me down for two inches, <laughs> but uh, uh, still, it's, uh, this is massive. Like, I mean, this thing must weigh probably, uh, you know, four pounds easy. Yeah, I would so. think so, I would think so. And I took out uh, a smaller head, head of the same thing yeah. because I had two, two of the same ones in there, so. And same with, the, with this guy, right? I mean, you got the cell fin that is probably 12 inches or yeah, 10. Yeah, I would say so, so 10 to 12 inches, yeah. Look at how fat uh, he is. I mean, I can't think of a other tank, like a tw even a 200 gallon, it would be too small in a tank, uh, this, this coral, sorry, this fish this, of this size. They need space. They definitely yeah. need space. The other thing that I added recently was some anthias. Yes. Uh, and uh, Oh, these are they're, gorgeous. They're, they're gorgeous. I love these anthias. I think they're called kashikai. Mm -hmm. Right? And they eat almost right away. They're They've only been in the tank for about four days and they are already eating flake food. Wow. I think that's a great addition to this aquarium because you have so many large fish, but uh, a nice schooling uh, fish is something that just makes it, it takes it to the next level, it makes it very reef like. Absolutely. You, you need something that's going to swim out in the water column and you know, just show off the, the corals and the uh, movement in the tank. I should feed them so we can see. Yes. Uh, this is just going to be some flake food going into And the you've also got another uh, type of anthias in there, right? I mean, yes. I think this little yes. guy. That's a different one, right? That's a different one. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. Uh, yeah. Those ones are more difficult. Hope were the, the, the hope was to put them in that same time with the kashikai, mm -hmm. that the kashikai would then show them how to eat the, the foods that are being fed to the tank. 
So now we're gonna actually, I guess, w which one is uh, producing all the food? Uh, uh, the feeder over the here feeder. By, the MP, by the MP60s. All right, so and then the food is distributed in the yeah. column. It's, oh, look at that. Yeah, they are. It's sucked down by the MP60, 60s and yeah. then just blown into the water column. Oh, look at that feast. Everybody's uh, active. And uh, last video that we shot, you've upgraded to Radeon G5s. Um, so now it's been over a month that you've been running them. So tell us a little bit of that experience. That's been running absolutely fantastic. I, I absolutely love them. Uh, I have less lighting than I did before because I was using the T5s down the middle. Mm -hmm. Don't need them anymore because of the spread of these lights. As you can see, it totally blankets the, the, the whole tank. Yes. The tank is 40 inches wide and that's why there is two on either side uh, blending everything in. Yes. And it's, they're, they're fantastic. Absolutely love them. I think this particular shot is probably a favorite of mine. You've got all this fish crowding in front of the tank, feeding. It looks like a real reef. If anybody is diving, um, this is exactly what it looks like underneath, but probably with much worse selection of corals underneath you, unless you're like in Raja Ampat or someplace exotic like that. Absolutely. My, I have a buddy who always said that this is the money shot looking down the six feet of the tank with mm -hmm. all the fish swimming around. And you can see just the, the whole layout of all the corals. That is incredible. So, what are the next uh, steps, do you think? Uh, anything you want to uh, do different or what are, what are your goals for the next, uh, now that we're wrapping up the 2020 uh, with shooting this video end of December, uh, what are your plans for the first quarter of 2021? My plans right now is to sit back and enjoy the <laughs> tank. I've done so much recently from upgrading the lights I did the, a new UV sterilizer, uh, new corals, re -acroscaped. So, you know, sit back and enjoy and watch them grow. Yes, and uh, there's nothing like actually having the space for the corals to grow, also great variety. Um, yeah. You probably, just to eyeball it, you must have at least 50 different species of corals, if not 80, uh, just ballparking it. So, and so, so many different fish as well. So. Just enjoy the fruits of your labor. You have really good equipment. You've got the husbandry. And um, I think this is a great way to wrap up uh, the year and the series. Um, thank you all for watching the video. If you've got any questions for Dane, uh, feel free to write them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in 2021.